Now, I've used lots of different types of softwares in my time for multiple different applications, and the best CAD design software I've used and continue to use for all my electrical design work is ProgiCAD, ProgCAD, ProGay, ProgCAD. Anyway, this CAD software, however it's pronounced, is in my opinion better than AutoCAD, better than DraftSight, and if you're a small business or one-man band, it's better than the automated CAD software like Plan, SolidWorks, or DesignSpark. And just before we go any further with this video, just so you're aware, I have no affiliation with ProgiCAD. I'm just going to pronounce it ProgiCAD. So yeah, I have no affiliation with ProgiCAD or the reseller Accentware as it stands at the time of recording this video. But that's not down to lack of trying. So, as you can see, Julia Axonware wasn't overly keen on the idea when I suggested a partnership program with the idea of offering my students on my training programs a discount code which would result in more customers for them and a nice value add for me. Yeah, boy. But as you can see, Julie clearly wasn't impressed with that idea. So if anyone from ProgiCAD, ProgiSoft or Axonware, other than Julie obviously, is watching this and thinks this is a good idea, I'd love to speak to you about this potential partnership. And if you're interested, please feel free to email me at chris at beautomation.co.uk. Anyway, sorry, back to you guys. Now, there's a few reasons I'd recommend using ProgiCAD over those other softwares. And those reasons are as follows. So number one, there's very little difference in terms of the functionality, layout and performance when compared directly to AutoCAD. Number two, it's relatively simple to use if you're familiar with other design softwares. And number three, and this is probably the biggest reason I use ProgiCAD over anything else, is just how affordable it is. Especially when you compare it directly to AutoCAD in terms of the features and functionality, it's exactly the same. So anyway, let's do some price comparisons between ProgiCAD and the other softwares mentioned. Let's look at ProgiCAD's pricing first. So as of today, in recording this video, the price is £203.15. And that looks like it could be on a sale price at the moment, in which case let's go with that other price that's crossed out, which is £238. And guys, that's not per month, that's not even per year, this is per lifetime. So £238 is the price you pay for a lifetime license, which is incredible when compared to other prices of other CAD software. So let's have a look how it compares. So first up, let's have a look at AutoCAD. And this is its closest competitor and probably the main go-to CAD software that we all know. So as of today, AutoCAD is £246 per month, or it's £1,986 per year, or it's £5,958 every three years. So straight away we can see ProgiCAD for a lifetime is more affordable affordable than the cost of AutoCAD just for one month. Next, we've got DraftSite, and this is owned by the same company who owns SolidWorks. And as of today, you can see here, it's £250 per year. ProgiCAD's price for lifetime is less than what it costs for DraftSite on a year license. Now, let's have a look at the automated CAD softwares. And these probably aren't the best investments for small business owners or one-man bands. Not only are they a substantial monetary investment, but there's also a substantial time investment in terms of the learning curve and being able to use them effectively. But don't get me wrong, guys. I've used SolidWorks in the past when I worked for a larger business and automated CAD software like these are totally worth the investment if you are a larger business churning out regular design work. Anyway, let's take a look at how they compare in terms of pricing. So let's start with ePlan and as of today you can't find any pricing on their website because you usually have to go through a sales call or demonstration call but I remember from when I inquired about a year ago depending on which package you go for and if I'm remembering correctly it was between about five and ten thousand pounds per year. 
So as you can see, just on the monetary side, a huge difference in terms of the investment comparing that to Progicad. And as for SolidWorks, as of today, again, it's difficult to find official pricing on their website, but from what I remember when I used to use it and based on the research that I've done, this software is around the 3,000 to 6,000 pound mark for the initial upfront cost. And then there's a yearly retainer of around 1,500, depending on the type of package that you go for. Just to reiterate, ePlan and SolidWorks are awesome softwares, but they are complete overkill and not worth the financial investment and time investment if you're a small business or one-man band just getting started with CAD software. Now, because you guys haven't hung up on me yet, I'd like to point you towards this video here where I go over three of my favorite CAD tips, which had I known sooner would have saved me huge amounts of time. So if you're a beginner and looking to get started with CAD, I'd recommend checking out this video here.